The history of banana production is anything but simple. From the western South Pacific on the island of New Guinea over 5,000 years ago, through extinction and rebirth, the Croix Michel and the Cavendish, one thing remains the same. The hands who reap the harvest and the soil on which they grow. Over time, mankind has learnt to export food all over the world, allowing the banana to become among the most commonly eaten foods globally. As global trade developed, global demand for the banana increased. Needless to say, the era of mass production of the banana has begun. Mega supermarkets with towering crates filled with bananas were made possible through grueling and exploitative means of production, the overconsumption of fertile soil, and the catastrophic environmental effects of global shipment and packaging. Nevertheless, we still find joy in knowing the tropical fruit is no longer only accessible to those in close vicinity to a banana tree, but to all of us around the world. Momentarily, that is. In the brief moment we consume the banana, we forget the origins of the fruit, all the hard labor and the environmentally damaging processes that have been undergone. However, the banana does, in fact, taste very good. Finally, the end of life of a banana, reduced to its peel and thrown out in a landfill. Now there are many other ways which bananas could be processed in a more environmentally friendly way, such as composting. But food scraps, just like most single-use items in the global market, are designed to be thrown out after it has been used. It is part of the cradle-to-grave system that our current production systems live by. And because of this, our waste has become one with nature.